Today, you'll learn how you can view your Keywords Everywhere data inside of your Google Analytics. So if you want a quick and easy way to get access to your keyword search volume data, your competition, and your trend data instantly, keep on watching to find out how. When analyzing your website performance inside your Google Analytics, sometimes it can be a pain if you want to get access to maybe uh, keyword search volume data and maybe your Google Search Console data. So that's where Keywords Everywhere comes into play because Keywords Everywhere has a feature where it will show you your keyword level data inside your Google Analytics. All right, so to get access to that in your Google Analytics, you need to click on Search Console on the left and click on Queries. Now, one thing to note is that you need to have your Google Analytics connected to your Google uh, Search Console account to get access to this information. All right, so now that we are in the Queries report, you can scroll down and view the Queries report from your Google Search Console. And what you can see here are four new columns. So this comes directly from Keywords Everywhere. All right, so you have your monthly uh, search volume uh, by query, your cost per click, competition, and trend data over the past uh, 12 months. And then you have your usual uh, metrics from Google Search Console, like clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and average position. All right, so now you don't need to have so many windows open. You basically can use one tool and get access to features from Keywords Everywhere and Google Search Console all in one place. All right, so right now I do have data from the US as you see here, but uh, depending on where you are, you can change the country. So if you click on the extension, you can select any country you see here, and you can even select global as well to get data from a global uh, perspective, all right? And as you analyze uh, this list of keywords, uh, you can decide on maybe there are some keywords you may want to save for future analysis, right? So for example, maybe these two queries right here, they have some pretty good healthy uh, monthly search volume and good number of clicks and impressions. So I wanna save these. So you just click on the stars. And if you click on the extension again and click on my favorite keywords, those keywords that you favorited will be appearing right here, okay? And then if you go back to your analytics, you can even add all these keywords. So if you click on that button and go back here, and refresh, you'll see that all the keywords will be showing up on this table inside your Keywords Everywhere account where you can export it and analyze it at a later date. And going back, uh, you can also export this table as a CSV as well. So you can click on this button and the CSV will look something like this. So you'll have all of the keywords from your Google Analytics, right? A and also the search volume, cost per click, the competition, and the trend data over the past 12 months uh, split out by the specific months. And you'll see that looking at all of these columns here. So a very easy way to get quick access to search volume data uh, inside your Google Analytics, inside the queries report. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna learn more about Keywords Everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.